Many women were there watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons, the burial of Jesus. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had, going, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the others Mary was sitting there across from the tomb. The guard of the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, the deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the orders for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posing, posting the guard. That was the uh, book of Matthew, chapter 27. Uh, there's one more book in this gospel. I mean, one more chapter in this gospel, and it's coming up next. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like.